classic truck rescue. Jamie and I are, uh, our chickens are six weeks and three days old now. So we're moving on to phase three. I don't know. Well, phase one. We brought them home and kept them in our shower. Did the governor say we could move on to phase one? We have to make <laughs> applications for that. Uh, we're not waiting on approval for that, honey. Anyway, uh, so phase one was getting the chickens and we kept them in a tub in our shower for four weeks, three weeks? Almost five weeks. Almost five weeks, I guess. Anyway, then we got the cluck and truck calf done, which is this. And they're six weeks old now. Oh, yeah, they're All hot. Of them. Yeah, they're hot. We're going to open the other window and put a fan in. But uh, the, so when we brought them out here, we kept them in a tub, that, that tub right there, honey, that green tub right there. And then after they got a little comfortable in there, uh, we let them out of the tub. And now we're making a tunnel. Hey. What? Do you know what's under a ponytail yeah <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> anyway so yesterday i cut a hole in the the front of the chicken coop the wood part and i also cut a hole in the firewall of the truck and that's the chicken bucket and it's like a hatch for them to go to their tunnel that leads outdoors well, which clean what? their water bowl yeah mm -hmm. So today, I'm making a wooden frame to go around this, and then there'll be a square tunnel that goes from here up to the grill, and I took the front end off because I'm going to make it fit right and take a sledgehammer to that dent, a couple whacks, and uh, get the front end where it's sitting on their level. It'll have a wooden tunnel going where the engine should be and coming out the bottom of the grill and then it'll go into a an angled turn and into that, which is gonna look beautiful. It's a four foot by eight foot, just a temporary pen where they can come outside and get fresh air, especially when it's hot out. Uh, but we'll be back. What See do you it. think? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Also, Jamie got some clear coat. Uh, when we put this back on, we're gonna clear coat it so all the writing from her birthday doesn't come off of there. So I didn't film this yesterday, but as far as how to make the little portal or tunnel or whatever that goes from inside of the cab to out here under the hood, um, first I had to cut a hole in the firewall. Hold on. First I had to cut a hole in the firewall. They got a fan, they're getting used to it now. But I had to cut a hole in the firewall, so I put the bucket, uh, the wide part of the bucket, which is the top, against that wood, drew a circle around it, drilled two holes with my drill right there, used a short wood sawzall blade to cut the circle out. Then I slid the bucket through there and figured out approximately by peeking through the holes in the firewall where the bucket needed to come out. Then I cut an extra big square out and then I cut the bottom off of my bucket. Now I have to make a square wooden piece to transition from the bucket to a wooden tube I guess that'll come through here and come out the front of the grill and I'll show you how to make that first piece next anyway I decided to do all the woodwork part of the truck and cluck out here by the building site because I just cleaned all this up got everything organized got all my tools out here in the blazer hi honey <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so the next step is you want to go from the bucket and the metal on the firewall to wood construction. So I cut me out a 15 by 15 uh, piece of OSB and took the actual bottom that I cut off the bucket that's going through the firewall, laid it on there, drew a circle around it. I want to make my circle actually just a hair bigger than the bottom to make sure that this slides over the bottom of the bucket real easy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my handy dandy screw gun and some screws and screw this down like that so that it will so that my workbench can hold it and screw this piece of wood down to my workbench before I cut the circle out with the sawzall that way uh, I can do it <laughs> So 
So I've got my wooden square with the circle in it mounted to the firewall securely screwed to the firewall and I put a few screws in the perimeter of the bucket just to secure the bucket to it even though the bucket is held up by the metal firewall underneath here but now I just need to make a lip right here that I can put my ramp on and then I'll build sides in a row for the ramp we're getting there so I made a shelf to put my bottom of the tunnel on and just used a couple hanger brackets for that I also bent the bottoms under and sunk a screw in each side on the bottom so that'll give me a good platform to start building the tunnel that they're going to go through to get to the front of the truck. Well, it's actually looking like I need to get the front clip back on now because what I'm doing next is putting two 2x6s two here because I want a solid base on this and they're going to run out the front of the grill but I need to see what height they're going to be at. It may be a thing where I have to drop it down or raise it up a little bit. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cut my hole out for their exit through the front of the truck. And while I was at it, I thought I'd do a little body work on Jamie's birthday front clip. Uh, take a sledge o -matic to that, but this has always bothered me where it's bent up right there. That looks a lot better. Yeah, custom body work. Just want to see if I can knock that out a little bit. So now that I've got something to lay my ramp on, my ramp will go from here along the frame and out the front of the truck. That's the front of the frame right there. And I know that the front of the frame sticks out just a little bit past the front end, but I'm gonna go a little farther just because once the tunnel comes out here, it has to angle right here to come into their outdoor pen. And I don't want to be doing that work right up against the grill of the truck. So I'm going to make it a little longer, you know, about a foot past the front of the frame. And that will give me plenty of room to work right here. So what I'll do now is I'll go cut two 2 by 6s that are 55 inches long. And that will be the first leg of the tunnel. I'm also going to cut two 14 inch 2 by 4s to screw into the side of that base. And screw onto that board right there for my sides also I wanted to show you this front end this front end 59 Chevy front end is actually off a big truck a Viking 60 and it's not made to go on this frame so when I initially mocked this up it wasn't fitting on there properly what I did was I cut two sections out one here and one here because there was a piece of metal right here that was resting on the top of the frame and it needed to go down farther also on one of the inner fenders there's a provision there for the emergency brake pivot that wasn't lining up because it's a different front end and I had to cut that section out but it should fit on there correctly now I may even be able to put some bolts in it this time I'll be back so to keep this uh, ramp and tunnel going at the right angle. I cut this board right here just to put across the frame to hold the front of the ramp up while I mock everything up and get it screwed together because theoretically the ramp is going to be coming out around here so that's about the same height as that board. It's not an exact science just showing you how I'm doing it. So on this truck I had to angle the ramp towards the center of the truck because there are obstacles the radiator core support and stuff like that that I can avoid by bringing it more toward the center and I think what I've got is going to work pretty good right there see it's about six to eight inches away from the frame and the frame is the area where you run into trouble on the metal part there's the scrap metal from the stuff I had to take off the front end to make it fit right but I've got my sides and my top for the first part of the tunnel cut I did have to cut the sides at an angle because the ramp slopes down from where they go through the cab and then they come down by where the front bumper would be and this is gonna work out pretty good so now what I'm gonna do is just and what I did is I just brought a little gauge over here they make them that they open up like a protractor 
to get your angle correct and I'll just screw the sides to the bottom piece for now and then I'll come back and show you how I put the top on got my sides in that's the chicken shoot right there I'll square all this up once I get all the pieces on but all I have left to do is to put the lid on it and I'm just gonna take a couple of I think I got I'll have to make these shorter but just gonna take a couple scrap pieces of two by four and put them in between right there then I can screw the lid down on that that'll brace it up maybe I'll put three or four of those in there and uh, there's some little gaps right here and I just close up as many of those I mean you can just take any scrap of wood and close those gaps up and it just for in the winter when it's really cold uh, we do have heat lamps in there and the cab sealed up pretty good but every gap that you can close just helps your bird stay warmer so like I said I'm just going to cut some braces to put in between the sides on the top and then screw my top to it and I'll be back when that's done but it's coming along as soon as I get the lid on I can put the front clip back on after I cut the grill area out I just really wanted to get this chute all the way built so that I could take measurements and figure out exactly where the opening in the front of the truck needs to be and eventually I'm going to put some headlight buckets back in there but I'm going to put LED flood lamps in it and it'll light up Jet's area and our front yard. I'll be back. Got all the braces for the roof in and like I said I just used a couple of scrap pieces of wood to close up those gaps in the back. Anything you can do to keep the wind out keeps your birds warmer. And that orange bucket inside the white bucket is just a stopper with one screw holding it in that I just put up last night because I didn't want the chickens getting out and I put one screw in it because I didn't want that cat that's been trying to get at them to be able to push it and get in. That'll come out after this is all done there'll be a sliding door right here that I can close at night. It's coming along pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this roof on and then we'll uh, get to work on cleaning this end up. So I got the roof on and I got uh, all the gaps closed now I'm going to come work on this end down here and like I said this is going to be the part that extends out of the grill of the truck but once it extends through the grill I want it to change directions and go this way uh, because this is going to go down into their day pen so what I did is I ran screws from the inside to the outside at the angle that I want everything to start going so I can put my level right here and as soon as that's leveled like that that'll be the angle that I need to cut these so I'll mark that right there and across the top after I get the angle right on both of them but as soon as that's level that's the angle I need You're a boy. That's a hard working woman right there. What? <laughs> what? I said that's a hard working woman right there. What do I look funny? No, you got all kinds of sawdust and uh, grass in your hair. Well, I've been weed whacking. Anyway, so we had the, the brood on a ventilator today, had a fan in the window there, and actually that set up pretty good and it doesn't take long to install but I think we're gonna paint the windshield and the driver's side windows because the Sun spends a lot of time over those windows I want to leave the back glass uh, clear because Look. that's sunrise and it's still cool Hi, what? anyway so 
they're secure for tonight like I said that bucket is inside the other bucket and screwed in there it's just our way of closing the portal off but I have that bucket going through the firewall and then turning into this square ramp with a solid floor and a roof and everything that will be under the front end of the truck I'm hoping I have the grill and the radiator core support cut out where they need to be where that will slide through it and hopefully protrude uh, four to six inches I might only get three but anyway I'm gonna hand Jamie the camera get this front clip on there and I also took the time to pound out this dent this is some beautiful bodywork right here a lot of time with the dolly and uh, just you know I, I massaged it and caressed the metal and and you can see how much better that perfectly smooth uh, but anyways this this emblem was so warped that one of the keepers popped off because they didn't like that big dent that's been in there forever coming out and then I kind of popped this one out a little bit but I think it'll look a lot better on there I think if I've done everything right that the front clip will go on there and there won't be a huge gap at the bottom between the door and the fender I think and I think I will also be able to put two bolts one here and one in the same spot on the other side and tighten them down and actually have the front clip attached what a concept anyways Jamie's gonna take over I'm gonna put this on here and then tomorrow I got about an hour maybe two hours worth of work to do setting that up taking my backhoe digging the ground down a little bit putting dirt on there and building a ramp that goes into there that's totally secure and don't we want him to have some grass don't we want him to have some grass well you want me to go get him some turf I'll unroll some turf but we're sinking that cage we're sinking the cage I'll go cut him out a, I can cut him out a square of grass you go me mow me a four by eight foot section out there in the pasture of some real nice grass and I'll cut it out and put it inside there but we need to bury that cage so that nothing can just dig under it without making a huge effort anyway the plan is to have it so they're secure in the truck have them be able to come out here go down a ramp go into that and still be safe and secure yeah that's only four foot by eight foot but they're babies right now they're vulnerable and it's getting hot they need to be able to come outside and cool down and uh, I'm just gonna put this front clip on this truck I hope everything cut right I think I do there's one other piece that I can cut on the front end if I have to make an adjustment shall we say They're very curious. Their heads are poking up. I'm sure they are. <laughs> they always want to know what's going on. What's Dad doing now? We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so that got heavy, truth be told. <laughs> and Jamie was getting eaten up by mosquitoes, so we had to stop the camera. But I do have it where I can take a breather. I know that looks horrible right now, but the front end still needs to go back six inches. I just got it to where I could set it down and have everything pretty much in place. But it's got to go back like another foot. So I'll have a lot more of the ramp sticking out of the grill, and uh, I'll be back. 
classic truck rescue beautiful sunny day here in Oregon the chicks are all happy Jamie threw a bunch of eggshells in there do they eat those things anyway made good progress on the clucking truck last night uh, the front end is fitting a lot better the gaps not perfect at the bottom but it used to be you know used to be yay far apart and the front end looked like it was going uphill I did uh, was able to get a couple bolts in the fenders and uh, also there was a huge dent on this side that I did a real fine job I mean this is craftsmanship right here folks beautiful old school hammer and sledgehammer <laughs> and I beat it so hard I popped one of the uh, keeper nuts off this emblem and went twang <laughs> and I found another one and put it on there but anyway we got some clear coat we're gonna put over that front end uh, the hood fits real nice sheets coming out and I was pretty close on the hole <laughs> pretty close didn't cut mo too much more than needed to be cut off but it was a tight fit and it was a bear to get on there I actually had to put a strap all the way from the passenger side door handle across just below the headlights and then over to the driver side door handle and I kept ratcheting it because it wanted to fall forward might have to do a little more body work over here huh anyway uh, so the truck itself is done finished yay thank you Lord uh, now I'm gonna make my ramp that comes down here to the ground and set up the cage Hopefully I can do that before we go over to my mom's today for Mother's Day. I uh, hope everyone's having a great Mother's Day. God bless all the mothers in the world. We need them. Oh, also just wanted to add real quick. Uh, more than a few viewers suggested that I use the space under the hood that I have left for storing things like chicken feed and stuff. And I agree. That is an excellent idea. Thank you. Uh, but first got to get some hood hinges on this thing. Don't need a latch, but at least hinges on it so it's easy for Jamie to pick up get some hood hinges on it and then we won't need a prop rod it'll stay up but I'm, I'm real happy with the way it all fits together right now I'll uh, build some cross members out of wood to put on top of the frame and then I'll just put a flat piece of OSB over that area and I'll have plenty of room for little doodads and chicken feed and stuff like that thank you for the suggestion that was a good one gonna get to work on this ramp Nick Cage, I'll be back. I'm just going to apologize for the wind noise right now. Nothing I can really do about it, but I won't be filming long, so you won't have to put up with it for long. Anyway, figures. Uh, it was <laughs> felt like 100 degrees, but I think it was like 79 or something. 
and I was working out here in the direct sunlight and this was all perfectly dry but of course the very night after I got it finished being dug it decided to rain and it's supposed to rain all week so I'm gonna get to work on this real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install that cage I've been wanting to bury the cage a little ways into the ground and I know that critters can still dig under it and everything but the idea is to get it buried far enough into the ground where it would take them a while and I would notice if something were trying to dig its way in there also we can put rocks around the perimeter too well I guess it's their day pen and this is something that we can build onto later but while the chicks are young and they're doing great they're all doing really good hi guys how we doing in there today everybody happy me too Yep, they're all good and happy and how are you doing anyway going to work on this I'll come back when I have the cage assembled in the ground and the ramp That's the ramp on the right over there going from the tunnel Into the cage and hopefully I'll have this done real quick because I'm chomping at the bit to get back to work on my building Also, it's supposed to rain all week and I can just see where this would turn into a muddy a sloggy mess and let's get her done these guys are really looking good they get really happy when you give them fresh water and food too don't take much to make them happy that little one white one right there that one right there that's daddy's girl that one likes me you look good it's fine I'm not trying to catch any of you you're good in there for today I'm going to make you your own way to get outside where you don't have to have daddy pick you up. You can go right through there. Yeah, this one likes dad. I think it's a girl. We don't, we don't know yet. Uh, but if we had to put our money on it, we'd say that guy that just jumped up is a rooster. He's got that rooster look to him, but you can't tell, I guess. I don't know. Hoping we got at least one rooster. Daddy's girl. That spot right there on the left. <laughs> spot. I want to name her Calamity. Calamity and Spot. Better get your names on, Jamie. You're gonna run out of birds to name because the rooster, whoever that turns out to be, is gonna be Rooster Cogburn. Yeah, you might be the outlaw Josie Wales. <laughs> we'll leave these guys alone let them eat I'll be back I gotta go shovel alright so I used that high tech hand shovel over there to go ahead and kind of level this out get all the excess out of it use the backhoe to get the big stuff and then shoveled it but anyways so I'm going ahead and putting in this first panel and this one's kind of critical because this is the one that the enclosed second stage of the ramp will go through taking the birds from the truck out here and into their pen and I'm gonna have to because the bottoms cut out on that I'm gonna have to fill this part with rock and I'll have to do something similar over at the gate panel but what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and assemble all the panels around that square of dirt right there so they're all sunk below ground and then I'll just take my big hammer and I will get a level and I'll level the tops of all the panels by just tapping them into the ground and then I'm gonna go get some rock to put around the perimeter and uh, I'll come back when I'm working on the gate so the lady that Jamie and I got this and I do apologize about the wind it's nasty today and I come on the lady that Jamie and I got this chicken coop from said that she put all the wing nuts on the inside because it looked better but I'm thinking this might need a little snugging up once in a while and do I really want to crawl inside there to tighten it up so I'm gonna go ahead and put the wing nuts on the outside just to make it easier to make adjustments if it settles or you know I'm sure some of those have come a little loose once in a while and I don't want to be hunched down in there tightening them up so anyway got my corner established I'm gonna get that level and then keep building I'll be back oh no Anna no 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 please don't get covered with mud come on honey come on no we don't need any digging there well it's getting dark and 
we're supposed to have a rainy week and it it has been raining we get uh Oregon's funny like that but you got to have the rain to make the stuff green and today's one of those days where it can just be showering and you can work or downpouring and I got to fill this hole in because this will just turn into a mess trust me it's not bad right now but it's getting kind of moist I've got my kennel assembled still have some adjustments to make and a lot of people are going to say like Rick well, you didn't have to dig that much out and we're going to raise it up a little bit more but I want a good solid river rock base in this where they if a critter wants to get at my little babies they got to dig for a while you know not like an hour they got to they got to spend a day on it and then I check on them I don't know four times a day so uh I'll know if something's trying to get to my critters and we're trying to make it real solid and secure where nothing can get in there I mean if a bear comes along and wants to eat my chickens I guess he's gonna have them but I don't want no feral cats and raccoons and stuff like that and uh, it's got a canvas top right now that came with real high quality cage uh, Jamie found this and got us a really good deal on it Thank you, honey. Good job. Uh, but I don't want it blowing over in the wind. And I don't want critters eating my little chickens. So I'm going to do what I have to do to protect them with the clucking truck and the tunnel <laughs> that goes where the engine is. And that will be covered too. But I'm waiting to do that until I see exactly where that ramp is going to land in that enclosure. And then I'm going to put a it's got a piece of fabric that goes over the roof, but I'm going to put um, some OSB on top of that, some of that wood. And then I'm going and getting some cedar shakes, and I'm going to put a cedar shake roof on it. Right now I'm going to go get some river rock to put in the bottom of this, so if any critter tries to dig into that, they run into the rock. Maybe a little on the inside, and a little on the outside, but they are not getting my babies, and they are looking good. We should check on them. We just got home. We're trying to support one of our local restaurants. We went and bought a couple of to-go sandwiches from them tonight. How you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Well, I just go on in here. Hi, guys. Hi. How's everybody doing? You guys look good. Well, let's see what you did. You turned over your food bowl. <laughs> Uh, but I outsmarted them. I figured out a trick. We used to put their water on top of that rock, like right over there. And they were filling this whole trough up with the bedding. So, <laughs> I put it up here like a long time ago. Where they got to hop up on the shelf if they want to drink a freshy fresh water. And it's pretty full. And uh, there's very little debris in there. Did daddy trick you guys? Hmm? How you doing? Everybody happy? You're on a hunger strike? <laughs> uh, there's always a bunch of food and rock up here for the gullets. You guys can't wait to try that out, huh? You don't know what's coming. It's going to be spectacular. Spectacular. It's going to be good for you, and it's going to be good for us. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love that little tunnel right there. Yeah, it means you're going to be able to go outside every day and get fresh air whenever you want. And then you'll come in at night. Yeah, it's cool. Trust me, it's going to be cool. And I appreciate your uh, cooperation during this construction, all you little girls. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I know, you're waiting for the grand opening. Uh, we're going to set some cameras up for you guys. No, it's not time to come out yet. <laughs> this is a pretty bird. Pretty bird. You're a pretty bird. No, don't, don't, no, 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 you have to go back in. <laughs> they, they grow on you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's the first one that's ever... <laughs> walked on me <laughs> you're pretty you're pretty cute you're a cute bird yep uh it's starting to rain though and 
Dad's got to go rectify some problems on the tractor. Oh my God, it's going to soak me, folks. This is so cool, though. I just want to let this bird sit on me. <laughs> you are a good-looking bird. Yeah, it's okay, huh? I've been telling you it's okay for six weeks. Our birds are about six and a half weeks old. Uh, they'll be seven weeks Friday. This Friday. Thank you very much. You have no idea how much this means to me. You're a good bird. <laughs> you should be a rooster. I think you should be a rooster. You can do it. Oh, now you're going to sit? <laughs> now it's sitting on me. Oh, good bird. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Good bird. Good bird. Thank you. It's cool when your critters figure out that they can trust you. It's, you guys probably aren't going to be able to see this, but that's a pretty cool little bird right there. You might be Calamity Jean. No. Oh. <laughs> no fear in that one. Love you guys. Dad's going back to work. Peace out. Took old pumpkin down to the stream. Got me a bucket load of river rock. And just dumped it right in the center there. And spread it around the edges. Now I'm going to go get another scoop. And I'm going to dump it around the outer edges. And then I'll take this clean dirt and put it over everything inside and outside. Oh, and good luck to the critter that tries to eat our chickens, right? That's what. Anna, come on, get out of that mess. Come on. Come on. No dig. Come on. That'll probably make for good drainage, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to work out pretty good, huh? But everything takes longer than you think, huh? <laughs> Classic truck rescue. Took pumpkin down and got myself a whole bunch of river rock. Jamie's out. Say hi, Jamie. Jamie's out here giving me a hand today with the clucking truck. The truck part of the clucking truck is done. I've got his, the tunnel for the chickens going up under the hood and coming out right there. And there's a ramp that's going down into the cage. This cage is sunk a foot into the ground all the way around with rock on the inside and outside. I'm going to take some of this flat pit rock right here, the square stuff, and build a little retaining wall in there because the floor inside the pen is going to be higher than the ground outside. We're going to have a couple little dirt berms right here. I dug this little trail that goes down with my backhoe so that we can open the gate. That's a big one. Anyway, going to build a little rock wall right there. Smooth the ground out right here. And finish building the ramp. Goal is to have the chickens out today. And Jamie's going to purdy all this up on the outside. And uh, it's going to be cool. We'll be back. Jamie made this part look real good. Knocked it out quick too. We both built it up around the ramp there. Where they can't get in under the ramp. But she totally made it look like a little chicken fortress. Doesn't that look great? No critters getting to our chickens. Alright, I'm going into carpenter mode. I'm going to finish off that tunnel that leads into it. And then we're going to set up a couple of cameras for you guys. And we'll see which chicken... Hey, what do you say? The first chicken that comes out we'll call Al Alabama chicken. Okay. <laughs> Alabama chicken. <laughs> that looks great. Thank you, honey awesome and we got this all cleaned up use Jamie's little husky tractor like a steamroller out here and the next thing for the yard after this will be getting our garden in right around here somewhere but right now Jamie had a good idea a friend of mine let me borrow his track hoe one time and one of the tracks broke on it and I had to invest in a track hoe track he bought one and I bought one and we put new ones on it. But he left the old one here and Jamie said, hey, let's use that for a walkway. So I'm going to go get it, drag it over here and it's heavy, but it's got treads on it. So we thought that'd be good to use coming up out of there.
Classic Truck Rescue. Got a surprise for you guys today. I'm going to show you the clucking truck. Oop, I almost went there, but I'm not going to yet. First, I want to introduce you to Young and Nini, two Hello. friends of mine uh, that I've conversed with a lot for a long time. The, uh, they're musicians. They go all over the world, literally. And Jamie was on the computer yesterday, and she said, oh, they're in Oregon. So we got a hold of them. Uh, they came over. We're going to... Oh, and look, Jamie's here. Jamie just got home. Anyway, we're all going to barbecue up some Asian water buffalo burgers. Never and, had an Asian water I've buffalo. Oh, you're going to love it. All natural. We're, we're in for all kinds of new treats here at the Classic Truck mm -hmm. Rescue. Guys, I'm excited. I, I know you want to know what it, what I'm feeling right now. What does it feel like to be here? It's amazing. I'm overwhelmed. I, I was a sensory overload. Yeah. I've been running to yeah. trucks, and Rick's been grabbing me. He's like, young... Just wait, young. Let's eat a buffalo burger before you go digging around. <laughs> but he's grabbed me a few times. He's a strong guy. Uh, but no, it's a, it's an honor to be here. And a shout out to all your viewers. You got a lot of uh, great people out there. We love our viewers. It's a They're awesome. Place out here. Thanks yeah. for having me. And how do people uh, get a hold of you and see what you guys are doing? These people have a lot of fun. They travel all around the world, and we check in and watch them. They live stream a lot, and it's kind of cool to go along with them. And it's like traveling, but they have to pay for it. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's like that. we, yeah, we're YouTube live streamers. We stream on a, a channel called Scuffed Van Life Live. You see the big high yeah, top. Yeah, they got a big, huge there. van over there, and it's down by the river. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we do that and uh you know traveling musician she's a painter and we kind of go see the city and there she is uh, there she hi honey jamie's home oh man look at this how are you guys how you doing so pleasure to meet you nice social you distance yeah. 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 Social yep. yeah we're being responsible oh out here folks cool. <laughs> this is beautiful we were uh we were just getting a look. We're, he almost showed the clucking truck, but not quite. Yet. Nope. I, I keep teasing him. I'm going to show him the cluck. No, not he yet. Back and he had just said hello to us, and then it was it was like it was you know Spielberg himself is directing. The thing. He came down the driveway, and, and here we all are, one big happy family. Uh, cool. Bill, this is amazing. We almost anyway, came honey. In the face a few times. It's good. The. Uh, we haven't let him out yet, but we're all ready to do that. So I know you probably want to grab a cup of coffee or something like that you usually go in and put your purse down anyways and i'm gonna have them tell my viewers how to get a hold of them and watch their stuff and then if you want to come out we'll set them free won't that be cool yeah first time oh, you were up all night last night i, I had to get it done tractor going all I had, well you wanted that thing drug from over there and when i drug it out it had four foot all high weeds in it but uh it's over there and it's all done. I know. <laughs> I can edit this. <laughs> all right. you anyway, so uh, where do they go and what do they do? Well, if they wanted to go and see what me and Nini were up to at any given time, they could find us at Scuffed Van Life Live on YouTube. And we're, and we're live, so you got to click that bell for notifications. We're live every day, morning to night, sometimes 24 hours a day. Also, I've got my own page, Young's Vlog, and this is Nini Tangerine. Nini Tangerine. We're live streamers and dreamers, and uh, you know, it's YouTube. I saw you do an Elvis song. <laughs> oh man, it was Everyone's awesome. Well, you know, that was in Memphis, know. right? Uh, where were we? It might have been. Yeah, you oh, were yeah, in a place where he yeah. recorded. You know, some, yep. I, I, yeah, we went to Sun Studio. Yeah, I'm paying great. attention. That's Sometimes right. Sometimes I like to walk down Hollywood Boulevard, though, and sing a. Uh, Sing a good Elvis tune, you know, and, and really let them know, you know, where we're coming from. Let them know where they're Thank you very too, much. So. Thank you very much. It's good stuff, though. All right, well, we're going to uh, go. Uh, I'm going to show you the clucking truck. Actually, big moment, guys. Young, Young is going to show you the clucking yeah. truck. You film him, show. We're live. We're live. He just did that. Too. <laughs> go and go. <laughs> anyway, this is the clucking truck. A lot of my viewers have already seen the clucking truck, but what you haven't seen is their outside cage. And uh, I made a tunnel that goes from under the dash, under the hood, you got your first down the ramp. Trying to dig in. And That's not a chicken. I took my backhoe <laughs> and I dug around the perimeter. We set that down, as you can see, a foot into the ground. Went down and got me some river rock with pumpkin and filled the trench in on both sides with rock. Anna, no! She's no. saying if predators can get in. We gotta smooth all this back out. This isn't done right here. Jamie wanted this ramp or walkway over here. It's an old tractor tread. 
and uh, we still got to level it out clean it up and finish putting rocks beside it but it'll work out pretty good right now I'm gonna take my GoPro and I'm gonna stick it in the tunnel hopefully none of them will peck at it or run it over or eat it but I'd like to see the first one coming out and we'll get the other end no Anna no <laughs> she's trying to prove predators can get in <laughs> no no you're not going in all right so I'll get in here all right, Jamie, this is your chance. <laughs> she usually does take advantage of it, too. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then she's going to go. Bacaw! <laughs> what did you just say? Bacaw! Oh, I thought you said something else. Bacaw! Bleep, bleep! Bleep, bleep! All right. Okay, you enjoy that because that's going to be the last time you're ever in here. Oh. oh, there we go. Cool. Pink. All right, we're recording, folks. I'm going to put the GoPro right here. They're going to poop on it. They're going to poop on it. All right. Let's see who's first down the chute. Bats, anyone? <laughs> you want to pick a bird? <laughs> what do you think? Honey, uh, I had to leave one of the things off for the gate, so you kind of have to pick this up. Close the gate, all right? Okay. All right, I got one screw to take out of. Show them the bucket, Young. Oh, the bucket. Oh. That's the tunnel to freedom right there. There it is, guys. The tunnel of love. If you're a chicken <laughs> and you need to get to the outside, that's it. Oh, goodness. Freedom is forthcoming. It's coming soon. So the names, are there any... Uh, well... We're just going to name them as they come down the chute, one, two, and three or we, something? We're pretty sure we're going to call the rooster Cogburn. So I got one screw in this bucket that's inside. Pull that out. i got to remember. Oh, there it is. And then I should just be able to slide this out. Oh boy. Oh, are there two screws? No. This might be harder to get out than I thought. Mm. Oh, it budged. No job too tough for the classic truck rescue. Clucking truck 2020. Yeah, I might have to get some pliers or something. The good news is I don't have to put this back in. All right, we got a tool for that. Okay. Make sure none of them escape. The town started with a J. Across this line, you do not. Keep an eye on them. Have needle nose. They're all watching. Got an audience. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Holy cow, <laughs> that was in there. Wow. You're never going back. <laughs> All right, so watch the hole. Here we go. Yeah, and I put a chute. Jamie, go ahead and pull that. Here. Young, get her pull. The first opening of the chute. Jamie's going for the chute here. Then just set it on top, honey. That works pretty good, huh? How's it feel? And spots the first one out of the tube. Spot went down the tube. He gets the award. <laughs> Brave soul. I think they're going to do well there. We'll see if they go back in. Pretty cool, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. They got a pretty good little setup, right? Well, we got to put some rocks under this mat, get it leveled out, and then we're going to put rocks along the borders of it. 
and that'll be the beginning of our path heading over there. I look pretty content. Yeah, I think this thing's gonna be cool. Yeah. We just have to put like a shovel under that one side and pick it up and put some rocks under it. Yeah. And then we'll put small rocks on the front part. That'll give us some drainage. Annabella. Well, I mean, they're going to be out here at the same time, so they might as well get used to it, right? Annabella. Anna. Be nice to the chickens. Maybe when they get a little bigger, they can come out and be around her, but not right now. All right. Classic Truck Rescue. Cluck and Truck Project done and yes I know that the fabric roof is not going to work we will be putting a metal or wood roof on it just uh, that's what came with the enclosure so we decided to put it on there just so they could start getting used to being out here and get some fresh air and uh, this is good progress okay well it went and got soggy on me but like I said I got Jamie's tractor tread ramp out here but I've got to level it out and hose it off. It was growing in the bushes. Actually quite a job getting that out of the bushes and I drug it around the property just to get all the dirt and bushes off it. It was on the other side of that log right there in grass that tall and uh, drug it out of there. Brought it over here and said, nope. <laughs> I drug it behind my tractor down the road for a while to get uh, the gravel road on the property to get all the dirt and stuff off it. But I'm going to take some of those rocks, level it out, and then Jamie is going to finish laying the river rock out here. And she's going to put big rocks beside it and little rocks and do her little rock thing. And uh, I like it when she does that. It makes things look cool. And the chickens are all happy out here. And I'm going to put cedar shakes on the top and sides of those. The gate's working out really good over there, blocking them in at night. And I'll be back when I get, I'll be back when we're done. Because this is my last day on this. They're done. They've sucked up enough of my time. And I got a building to go build for me instead of critters all the time. They're happy out here, though. They like the fresh air. And like I said, when we get bigger, we'll expand that. We'll open up a side of it and make it go on out into Jet's pasture and put them a big covered chicken coop pen thing out there but for now this is good enough for them they're only seven weeks old our goal is to keep them safe and healthy and just make sure they have fresh air out here and a nice secure warm place in here it's working out real good right guys happy birds yeah well I've got the walkway move back far enough where we can open the gate all the way and we'll put little pebbles down there that'll kind of make a natural drain there's a lot of rock under that dirt right there and what I'm doing now is I'm going along and putting pit rock around the edges picking up the mat and setting flat pit rock under it because this tread has a bunch of metal tracks in the center of it and it goes like that what I'm doing is I'm pulling one end up wedging the rock under the other end and with these holes in the center, that should give me some drainage, but it'll also give me drainage around the edges because we'll take a bunch of that little rock and put it along the edges with bigger rock on the outside. And I'll hose this off and smooth all that out. I just back dragged all this. It, uh, it gets pretty soupy out here, but this is the last part that I have to do aside from putting the cedar shakes on the sides of their ramp. I had trouble with them going in last night. Jimmy and I put them all in the tube and they wouldn't go up so we blocked the board up against the end of it. And at midnight I woke up and I thought, well I better go check on the chickens and I came out here and they were all still in the tube. So I had to take each one out one at a time and carry them over there and put them in. But I did get them to come down the tube today and I'm gonna get them to go in after I get done doing this and I'll show you 
how I do that. <laughs> Just got to get them into the habit of doing stuff. And this will make it real easy for us to take care of them. We'll just have to come out in the morning. Pull the little board out that goes through there. And that's it. You know, put some food and water out here for them. And then they can get fresh air all by themselves every day. And it'll cut our maintenance time way down on this. And when the grass grows back out here and we have the garden in, it's I think it's going to look pretty nice. Anyway, get to work on this right now. I'll be back. Well, folks, that's it for my work on the Cluck and Truck Chicken Resort. Jamie's going to come in here and take Rock and uh, do her little pretty it up thing. We've got a couple planters we're going to put on the either side of it right there. Big ones. Those guys right over there. Two of those. One on each side. And uh, chickens are going in and out. They're secure. And I'll get around to putting a solid roof on it later. But they're just out here during the day right now. That's to protect them from flying predators. And uh, might do a little paint work on the old clucking truck. Everybody's happy though and healthy. I want to thank everyone for joining me for this episode of Classic Truck Rescue. Uh, this is going to conclude the video for the cluck and truck chicken coop. And i uh, got a little bit of landscaping left to do here. Kind of soggy out right now. It's been raining quite a bit. But it's finished. They're safe. I just came outside and there was a cat trying to get them. But that cat can't get them. And uh, next episode... We're going out front, folks, going to the building site, and I'm going into turbo mode on my building. Let's get her done. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate all our viewers. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell. Thanks again. Peace out. Hope she finds that mole that's messing up my front yard. Get it.
You're trying to kill a stick. Do you realize that you're trying to kill a stick? Get it, Anna. Get the stick. Get the stick. No, don't don't tear up my underlayment. It's always a good time of year when our buddy Victor brings our bees out. Brought us a first batch. Last night he brings them late at night and drops them off. They're good for the property. He gives us excellent classic truck ranch blackberry honey made from our own blackberries and it is delicious. Always a good time of year when Victor brings the bees out. We're grateful to have them. And thank you, Lord, for the bees and the honey and everything else. Peace out.